welcome back to another organization video. As you can clearly see, we're tackling my stamping plates today. This is my Nicole Diaries stack and this is my Pick 2 stack. All of these came from AliExpress, so I will leave an image of what that video's thumbnail looked like and probably even link it in the description box. But I wanted to show you guys what I actually keep my current stamping plates because I actually have a few that I got from Born Pretty. Um, and it, I keep them in this beautiful holographic case that probably tons of you guys have. And also got this from AliExpress. Um, so it has like several spots for these circles and squares, a bunch of space for like large snapping plates, but I actually don't use it for that. And these regular size, like average ones, and then more space for the larger ones, but I also keep my uh, scrapers in there. I actually have a secondary one coming also from AliExpress, but it only contains room for these because I noticed that while purchasing, um, I ended up having tons more of these than I ever had of these. And then I also got a separate one for um, larger plates like this. But the new one that's coming, it's pink holographic, and the one for the larger ones is um, the silver holographic. Uh, as you can tell, I have a holographic problem, like I'm sure most of us do. Well, anyway, I'm gonna busy myself taking this blue film off of um, all the snapping plates, and then we'll move into sorting them in seasons, and then just, you know, go from there. All right, see you guys on the other side of the time lapse. So I've already done with the ones, the new plates, and I'm just taking the old plates out so we can organize all of those, and then we'll start putting them in the sleeves because y'all should have told me that this is about to be a whole thing. Oh my gosh, YouTube, y'all ain't nobody. Y'all should have told me what was gonna go down because this is this is a lot. I also want to take the time and show you some of the Born Pretty plates that I collected like way back when. I love these. I've noticed that flowers like these are like really in right now. These are like a few of the little ones that I got. So, so real quick, plates that I already have. Uh, that's like more of a New Year's Day type of vibe. Pretty like kaleidoscopy. These are heavy. This is my favorite plate. I am so looking forward to using this this summer. You have no idea. I don't know that I really like this so much, but you know, it's here. What are you gonna do? I love these little accents. This, I love. I'm going to get so much use, especially these. Anyway, the entire plate's bomb. <gasps> this butterfly plate, I'm gonna edge it, it's upside down. This butterfly plate with the layered butterflies and the layered moths and stuff. You guys, get that. That's one pretty over print L003. Go and get this one. And then I got some layered flower ones. Oh, look at me, hi me. You guys can see my setup. That's how I film for you guys, yeah. Um, and then some more like layered ones, overprints they call them. You can never have too much like plaids and stuff. I love these lacy flowers. You know who kills these? Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. She swears by these kind of lacy prints. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna be using these Frenchie vibes, but you know, it's, it's a long life in this nail career. Oh, flames. You know what this reminds me of? Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of freaking Naruto. That's what this, or Dragon Ball Z, any type of anime, really. Some Halloween, oh, I love this one. The kissy lips, isn't it cute? This one's gonna be really, really cute too. You guys hear my kids trying to break out of the room? They act so wild, it's insane. And this one's gonna be cute for like, I think this is, yeah, this is Valentine's Day, but also looks kind of summery to me. I don't know, maybe it's the pop art. Anyway, I'm gonna sort these out and then I'll come back. Hey guys, my yeah. entire family is in the freaking room. So if you hear something, it'll be the husband and the kid. So here's how I've sorted them out. This is summer, you know, like June, July, August. This is December, January, February. This is um, September, October, November. And over here is March, April, and May.
stamped before. So I got my cat's black. I've got a Born Pretty stamp here. I've got a tip here and a, you know, lint roller from like in my house somewhere. And I actually have my glitter mat. As you can see, it's right under here. It's a paper towel. So let's test this out because this video is turning out to be longer than it needs to be and it might as well have a demo. So how about we do this, this little guy here. Okay, cool. So putting that down. I didn't want to go ahead and use my scraper because then I have to clean more stuff. So I'm just gonna use this paper card, pulling it down like I've seen Talia do so many times. Wiping that and then gonna try to pick this up. Go as planned at all. Okay, take two, trying it with another kind of stamper. I'll just, you know, clean that in a little bit. So let's try maybe this one. And let's do that. Try it. And then let's see if I pick it up. Well, I got something. I got something and that's not bad. So let's see if I can get it onto the nail. Okay. Well, you know what? I got something on there. Okay. So that's not too bad. Let me just... How do they even get this to... Anyway, I think because inside my room it's just the fans on so it's super dry, but... I got something, so follow my progress. We all here learning together. Hey guys, Hello. so here is what it looks like. Sorry if the light's glaring a little bit. So I have organized them in seasons according to like, you know, the individual season and the month it's pertaining to, but also the quarter that it's pertaining to. Excuse my kids in the background who have heard several times that I'm making a video. And you know, they just don't care. So now here are the little small ones. I did the circles first and then the squares after. They're all organized the same way. And then lastly, my two large plates are at the back. Obviously these are not gonna stay here. I do plan to move them. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, that's it for now. I don't know. I think I might leave this just the one stamping organization video because it turned out to be longer than it was supposed to be. But thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will link as much of this as I possibly can. I love you guys for watching and I promise to see you guys in the next one. Bye now.